G shit. Respect to that man right there, huh? Respect to that man right there. That right there is what I was just talking about. The human race as a whole. I don't know who he sacrificed his life for, but he done it as a man. Like, no, you're not going to kill this person. You're not going to do that over my dead body. You see what I'm saying? Respect to this man. May his soul rest in peace. Young boys got to calm down. Not young cop, but it's going down. Catching L's from BS, nigga. That's the only way you're moving bound. Ready on. Shut him down. Tell me on. Yo, Dad Drake. Yo. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today, man? What's up to my family? You heard me to my family, to the few that are over here and watching my videos, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all heard me? I appreciate y'all. Cause like I told y'all, I wanna, I wanna upload. Yo, I wanna upload so much stuff on this channel right here alone. Is that I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste it. Cause then the people that need to be seeing it not gonna see it. Y'all get what I'm talking about? So that's why I'm, I'm hesitant on what I be uploading over here on this channel. But I do want to upload. Yeah. But I know if y'all over here, y'all should be subscribed to my twin channel. I'm going to have a story time dropping over there soon. Uh, how my sister almost drowned me. Yes. How my sister almost drowned me. And I should be getting some family time footage up on that channel as well. That's another. Uh, that's the, right there an example of what I could upload over here. But I'm upload over there because I know a lot of people don't know about this channel and I don't want the rats and the excuse me and the trolls to know about this channel but you know I don't care if they do know but y'all get what I'm saying I want this channel to be as genuine as possible my twin channel is a lot of fakes over there you get what I'm saying there's a lot of fake people over there so like I said but there's a majority of people over there that don't know about this channel. You get what I'm saying? Or is not persuaded enough to come over here to the side with us. So, hashtag family in the comments comment section. I know uh, Miss Melissa's over here. I know my boy Terry Y'all's over here. Uh, just to name a couple. You get what I'm saying? I know they are over here. Right? All right, y'all. Now, of course, yes, I could have um, done this, this video right here on my twin channel. This is a prime example. This right here, that was a mass shooting in Virginia Beach, right? 12 killed. Now, when I first seen it, it said six people was killed and, like, a few was injured. So now the number has rose to 12 killed in Virginia Beach, mass shooting. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. I've never, I'm talking about I have never, ever heard nor witnessed a type of violence of this nature. Y'all get what I'm saying? In Virginia. In Virginia, like, I haven't like and if I have I can't remember y'all get what I'm saying usually it's love I haven't been in the streets in a long time you get what I'm saying I just put up a post on my Instagram y'all make sure y'all follow my uh my dread 55 Instagram and my Dedrick Instagram I need to stop posting back up here but I'm gonna I'm click over there after I get off this video but I know I learned at a young age a very young age that the streets there's no love in the streets there are no love there's no excuse me there is no love in the streets right it's only snakes and rats you get what i'm saying it's only snakes and rats snakes sneaky rats gonna gonna, gonna tell they're gonna they're gonna tell they're gonna tell they're gonna tell that's just what they do you feel me what i say all that to say this the violence that was going on when I was younger, like when I was actually out there in the streets and I had my ears to the street and I knew what was going on, that was different to this. You get what I'm saying? A mass shooting. A mass shooting. Now, I want to know, automatically, y'all know how us black folks are. Automatically. Was this a white kid? Was this an Arab kid? Y'all get what I'm saying? Because a black motherfucker, because I, I, I seen and I read that they said that the uh, person that did it the suspect was he worked at a municipal manu excuse me municipal building or office or whatever have you i stopped reading after that you get what i'm saying because it was like a uh, it was like a caption under a video right and it just stopped at municipal you get what i'm saying so you know us black folk man when we mad or we upset at a job bro we we got the we we usually get we tend to get upset at a job when we got a day off you get what i'm saying so say we got the day off tomorrow which is sunday right we pissed off today for whatever reason because we know we got that next day off we probably talking shit and everything so now we got that sunday off so when we come back in there on monday oh man y'all know what i'm talking about you get what i'm saying i don't think it ever gets to a point with black folks now maybe proven wrong when we find out who the suspect was hopefully they got the suspect or whatever have you we never get that upset to the point that we're gonna 
killed 12 innocent people. Y'all get what I'm saying? Unless those 12 motherfuckers that done something tremendous, like, I'm talking about drastically to us. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, y'all get what I'm saying? My fellow black people, y'all know what I mean. And even some Mexican people, too. Yeah, yeah Hispanic people. Y'all know, know what I'm talking about. See what I'm saying? Only the white people, and this is not me being racist, y'all motherfuckers crazy. See, my mama whooped my ass when I was younger. You get what I'm saying? She beat my ass. Yes. She put me on punishment. See what I'm saying? I wasn't... Let me show you. Boy, you about... This is my mom and my pops. Boy, you about to worry about them books. You worry about a girlfriend later. I was in fifth grade. You about to worry about them books. You, 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 you worry about the, the, the females and, the, and whatever later. It's a sixth, seventh grade. Mind you, sixth, seventh grade, that's when I, I was smelling myself. <laughs> I was smelling myself. You get what I'm saying? So, that's when I tend, tended to, to act out. You know what I mean? Once I left elementary to the middle school, either or. I'm saying all that to say this. Black kids around my age or my generation or my caliber, because you ain't got to be my age. You can be 18 and you could you, you could still be raised with traditional values. You get what I'm saying? Don't do that. We about to go in this store. You know I ain't got no money. We going in here, we're going to get this hamburger. We're going to get this spaghetti so I can make some spaghetti tonight. Don't come in here asking for nothing. You get what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't come in here asking for nothing. We're going in here to get this food, and we're coming back out. Because you know I ain't got no money. See what I'm saying? Because un, 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 unlike popular belief, my mother, we wasn't on welfare at all. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we stayed in the hood, the projects. You get what I'm saying? But Mom Dukes, had to, we had to purchase food. Cash flow. So don't come here asking for nothing, boy. We all been through it. Don't come here asking for nothing, boy. You know I ain't got no money. You know I ain't got no money. I go, I go. Let's get into this, y'all. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to put some type of humor on this because this is a sad situation. You see what I'm saying? It's a sad situation, and I'm thankful that. And, and, and another thing, bro, it, it happened in Virginia Beach. If anybody don't know anything about Virginia, Virginia Beach is the spot. Virginia Beach is the spot every summer. Everybody goes to the strip. We go to the beach. We go to chill. We go to vibe. Get what I'm saying? The script is where it's at. The script is lit. That's where it is. Now with these events right here, it's like, look what y'all have done, bro. Now people gonna be hesitant. A lot of people gonna be hesitant to either come visit Virginia Beach because this is one of the tour touring attractions, right? They're gonna be hesitant to come, and or the residents and the people that live in Virginia. I ain't going out there this year. Fuck that. This is how we starting off the summer. Let's get into it, y'all. I'm done talking. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, y'all. We were all just terrified. Chaos and carnage in Virginia Beach as police descend on a city government building after reports of an active shooter. We have a victim down. And it was a government building. So I, I'm, I'm down there nearly 90% sure this was not a black man, this was not a black female. Now, if it was, that means the world is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Ain't no damn way a black man or a black female gonna go in a government building. Gonna be in a government building, let alone work in a government building, with a firearm and let off on 12 people. Let's continue. Along with somebody shooting. We do know that shortly after 4 p.m. this afternoon, the suspect entered building two. He's a longtime employee of public utilities, and he immediately began to indiscriminately fire upon all the victims public utilities now public utilities that could be the person that um well no public utility yeah it could be actually the people that come out with the um the water shit underground you know the people that come check the water thing under the ground that could be uh actually maintenance men if i'm not mistaken that could be maintenance men that could be uh your trash men that could be your lawn cares you know it, it, it could be a group of things that uh the the uh the mosquito man like, I don't know if you old enough, but they, they even still do it nowadays. But now I'm, I'm too woke to the realization that, yo, I don't want to be nowhere near whatever truck that is spraying around. Because back then, they'd come around with the mosquito truck. That's a utility man. He'd come through with a uh, with the mosquito truck to prevent the mosquitoes. Now, back where I was back in the day, it was it's back there in the uh, actual the, the city where I was at. It's it, it actually the Dismal Swamp. It's closer to the Dismal Swamp, so it was a lot of mosquitoes. But that they come and spray a chemical which was supposed to help us uh, give us some type of aura or whatever have you to keep the mosquitoes away. Y'all get what I'm saying? But now, with the woke meat, now I mean, penile gland wide open, 
It's like, what was what was that really? You feel me? What what was that chemical really? Y'all get what I'm saying? All right. The victims were inside the city municipal building, which houses scores of government workers. Megan Banton described the scene inside. You hear this all the time on the news, but you don't think it's ever going to happen to you. Basically, Facts. it was like, this is not a drill. Get down. Call 911. Facts. Facts. Because you hear about this in Colorado, maybe a Las Vegas, maybe a Wyoming, maybe a Oregon. You hear it somewhere like that, somewhere like West Virginia. You don't hear about it in VA, man. You don't hear about it in VA. And that's when we just... I called 911 and we all just ran in her office and, and closed the door. I was inside of my office. What I heard we heard shooting building 10A. Police tactical teams quickly locked in on a potential suspect who was armed with a long gun and a handgun and was shooting on multiple floors. So actively hearing gunshots. Please, do we have any idea where the shooter's at? I'm going in. Call you this. We're going to the second floor. Shooter on the second floor. Detectives coming through the garage sally port. Shots fired, shots fired, second floor. Police Chief James Cervera praising the... This motherfucker, I don't know, he might have had a personal vendetta, whoever this was. Shout out to Archangel Michael, 119. He might have had a, a personal vendetta if this guy actually killed people and they just said he was going up the stairs. Come on, bro, come on, bro. You know, you know, you know the edge that you got to be at to take a life? Trust me, you have to be at that edge. You get what I'm saying? let alone to go up and take multiple lives, to continue taking multiple lives. Y'all get me? They said this man was a, a year, year, excuse me, years employee of this place, man. Quick thinking of his officers saying their actions prevented more fatality. My lotto head is over here, 352. Watch it, I should have put it in. I should have put 852 in today. I didn't, but watch 352. When the original call came out, Immediately, four officers responded. Due to the sound of gunfire, they were able to locate the floor in which the suspect was committing his carnage. They immediately... All right, so the mayor of Virginia Beach, right? Y'all got an issue, because if you hear a man has is a shooter, is a possible shooter in a government building, why are only four police officers called to the site, called to the scene? You feel me? If it's a possible shooter in a government building, you only offer four policemen? Only four policemen. Come on, y'all. Really engaged with the suspect, and I can tell you that it was a long gun battle between those four officers and that suspect. The alleged shooter. You see what I mean? Four. Come on, bro. Four, five, nine. Two, seven, nine. Y'all see these digits? Y'all see these digits? Write them down. Write them down. 852 was the first one, 279 and 459 to my lotto heads. For anybody else watching this, I'm referring to my lotto heads. I got my lotto head uh, joggers on right now. 40-year-old uh, Dwayne Craddock, but tonight, the police chief choosing to focus on the victims. We do know who the suspect is. We will release his name once. We're going to mention his name once. And then he will be forever referred to as the suspect. It's a site that's become all too familiar. That's respect there. Dwayne Cardick, what'd he say? Look at that 159. Numbers everywhere. There are dozens of people fleeing from buildings. Victims rushed out on stretchers. Mass right shootings are continuing to increase. Mass shootings now get a lot more media coverage than they did in years past. And sadly, people who are thinking about mass shootings now see it demonstrated and it actually can give them courage to then go try it themselves. Virginia Beach is a popular summer tourist destination now reeling as the community searches for answers in the wake of yet another senseless attack. This is the most devastating day in the history of Virginia Beach. But you got some you got some you got some explaining to do Mayor Bobby Dyer. Am I wrong? You said y'all said I mean he didn't necessarily send it but the police precinct, in which I'm pretty sure he got he got ties with them. He, he's he's the man, huh? The police deputy, whoever that is, that the, the, the police chief of Virginia Beach, like bro, y'all sent four men out there to an armed suspect in a government building. Y'all know how many keywords I just said? Government building, armed suspect, four police officers. That's it. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. 
the people involved are our friends, co-workers, neighbors. So far, there have been 150 mass shootings in the U.S. in 2019. Virginia Beach joining the growing list of communities forced to reckon with the unmet. That's sad. That is sad right there. That, that don't make no sense, bro. We got enough issues as the human race. We have enough issues as the human race than to be dealing with psychotic. Let me back up. Everyone goes through shit. Everybody goes through shit. And, and I don't know anybody that has been through anything more than I have been through. Y'all get what I'm saying? But I wake up and I know that somebody out there has it way worse than I do. You get what I'm saying? That doesn't mean I'm going to go shoot up a church. I'm going to go shoot up a government building. I'm going to go shoot up whatever have you. You get what I'm saying? Because your issue isn't external. It's internal. Cover yourself. Make sure your self is straight. Then we ain't got to worry about all oh, so many mad shootings or whatever have you. Because, yes, there's going to be some some loose cannons with the, the little kid that think he's going to go down as a legend or whatever have you. Like, respect to the police chief that just said what he said. I don't know if he's the police chief or whoever he was. He just said, yo, we're going to mention his name once. That's it. And from there on out, his name is going to, I mean, he's going to be referred as suspect. Respect to him for that. You see what I'm saying? You get no, you get no fame for that. Why would you want to be infamous? Y'all get me? But like I said, us as a human race, we got to get this shit together, bro. But yet, y'all still hate me because I'm black. You see what I'm saying? Black people still hate that person because he's white. You see what I'm saying? White people still hate that person because he's golden brown. Y'all get what I'm saying? Because he's, he's brown or whatever have you. We got to get that shit up out of our blood, man. For real, man. We all here to serve one goddamn purpose. One goddamn purpose. Y'all can't even get that right. Y'all can't even get that right. See what I'm talking about? It's I'll probably have a lot of trouble sleeping at night, but, um... Man, shut your ass up. She ain't said nothing about the people that might be, like, her friend, my friend, or my, 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 my boyfriend, or whatever. She ain't said nothing of that nature. You can tell she's... I don't mean no harm, but she just seems like she's faking. Seems like this shit is phony. Seems like she's trying to force out tears. Like, stop it. Stop it, because this shit is irking me now to the point that, yo, 12 innocent people. Come on, bro. Yeah, just going home hugging my family. I have an 11 month old baby at home and all I could think about was him and trying to make it home to him. Every clip she's trying to force out tears. I feel bad for her because she is a victim of that, but I don't feel bad for her as much as I feel bad for those 12 families. Y'all get what I'm saying? She's sitting here trying to, let's move on. Just three weeks ago, students in Colorado on lockdown when one student opened fire, killing one. Then I just call out Colorado. Colorado always got some shooting and shit going on. Injuring eight. And last month at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, 21-year-old <coughs> Riley Howell sacrificed his own life to save his classmates when he Gee, charged shit. at oh, a gunman who up. had opened fire in a classroom. He was one of five to save his class. Gee, shit. Respect to that man right there, huh? Respect to that man right there. That right there is what I was just talking about. The human race as a whole. I don't know who he sacrificed his life for, but he done it as a man. Like, no, you're not going to kill this person. You're not going to do that over my dead body. You see what I'm saying? Respect to this man. May his soul rest in peace. See what I'm talking about? Classmates, when he charged at a gunman who had opened fire in a classroom, he was one of two left dead. All of us. You know what I'm saying? Imagine how many people he saved in that shooting. I didn't hear about that in, in, in North Carolina. I did not hear about that at all. But imagine how many how many lives that he saved charging at that gunman. At that gunman. You know what I'm saying? Need to be aware that we could end up in one of these situations. I actually think that people need to sort of think in those realms without being paranoid or letting it consume their thinking. We mourn with their loved ones but sympathy doesn't feel that okay now let me let me let me just get this out the way right here every time i went into the courtroom whether it was for my cousin whether it was for me whether it was for support for whoever else i gotta go through a metal detector why wasn't there a metal detector in this uh, building? Which I don't think it is in municipal buildings. I don't think there are, excuse me, any uh, metal detectors. But y'all get what I'm saying? When you got to go to that courtroom, you got to go through a metal detector. I don't give a damn if you work it. 
If you work there, you I think they can go around. Now nah, I don't even think they can go around. I think you got to go through it, even if you work there, like you're a lawyer or a judge or whatever have you. You still probably got. The judge probably don't have to, but you, y'all get what I'm saying. But like the the officers, like the uh, bailiffs, like they can just go around. They can just empty their pockets or whatever and go around it. Understandable. But a government building, y'all need to put metal detectors in there, man. Y'all need to. Y'all got to put metal detectors in there, man. Come on, man. Oh. We must take care of these families. These horrific tragedies test our souls. And of course, we'll have the very latest from Virginia Beach on Good Morning America. Hi, everyone. Yo, that don't make no sense, y'all. That don't make no sense, y'all, at all. At all. Now, let me know what y'all think about this, uh, this video. I ain't gonna say a reaction, but... Uh, rest in peace to those 12 souls that have fallen and uh, maybe even risen like I don't know them But shout out to all of them shout out to all of the families man. It's sad man us as a human race We got to do better. We have to do better and anybody that know me y'all know that I'm for the betterment of my community of my community I can't help the world unless I help myself and once I'm finished helping myself now I'm gonna help my community and once I get my community as one now we can participate in this war We call the human war. You get what I'm saying the human war because just because you're white, you're, you're, you're Mexican, you're Chinese, or whatever have you, we still bleed red. Y'all get what I'm saying? So just the idea that we hate each other because of race, it's, it's beyond me. It's beyond me. But, of course, you got to have these, these, uh, either or, either or, man. Um, we got to do better, y'all. And then being that it's touching in Virginia Beach, yo, shout out to anybody that, uh, will post anything regarding, uh, me because y'all know i'm in va or whatever have you i don't know i don't even know i know miss janetta shout out to miss janetta hopefully she's all right i think miss janetta miss janetta i think so because i think she says she'd be on in virginia and north carolina if i'm not mistaken but shout out to anybody else that's in virginia man hopefully y'all are safe hopefully none of y'all families was affected by this but to the families that were affected by this prayers up for y'all it makes no sense. You know, I, I never I never thought that we would get hit with a, a mad shooting. Like, yeah, maybe a murder or two. Like, you, you ever been to bad news? You know what's up. North, you know what's up. You feel me? You you know what's good. You, you see what I'm saying? But mad shootings, that's some, excuse my language, but that's some white people shit, bro. You feel me? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Um, recipes to those souls that, that we lost. Uh, Virginia, we got to do better. We got to do better. Get where's the metal detector? And y'all say he was a he was an employee, right? He was an employee. They didn't they didn't let go of his race. So us black folks that used to that grew up watching the news and shit, we know what that's about. You, you know what I mean? You didn't you didn't put up a picture. If you looked like me, you would have had a picture. I'm just saying that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section. Till next time, it's been your boy Dedrick. Look, y'all family, be yourself or be everybody else. And I'm out. Peace. In office on March 12th, first black president, the 44th, couldn't do his job in peace. It's Congress fault. Obama handled business like a player should. Always calm, never panic, even when he should. For example, police killing and they keep it tally. Obama walks as Dr. King and says, peace for rally. See, Congress doesn't understand the game of chess. Obama got elected and had to clean up butcher's mess. But we, as a people, have to work as one. Never mind our turf, we gotta work as one. This real talk, listen up, you better pay attention. Our sins and judgment are the state of admission in the big house. With that higher power, you best listen up, cause this world is ours.